So these creepy looking abominations are called Furbies and if like me you're a kid from the 90s you'll remember when they first came out and today we're actually going to be making one in Blender. So recently I did a YouTube short um, just breaking down how I made one of these and today I'm actually going to do a full length tutorial as a lot of you were asking about it. So this is the final result. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. It's actually a pretty easy thing to make and I'll be uploading my final result to Patreon. You can check all of that out in the description below. So let's jump in and make a Furby. So let's jump into Blender and we're going to grab our default cube which we're going to go into edit mode and we're just going to scale it up a little bit like so. And then hovering over here, let's go Control R or Command R. You're going to see a loop cut option. Roll your middle mouse button up twice just to add two segments and then double click. And now we have this. We're just going to go S to scale it a little bit like so. And maybe let's just grab everything, scale it up just a little bit more. We're then going to go to our modifier properties. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. And let's bump up the levels in the viewport like so. And at this point, um, it's really up to you to customize the shape. So in my front view, I might make it a little bit wider. And at the top, I might move that up a bit and scale it on the X. But this kind of is the stage where you can customize the shape. So keep that in mind. So at this point, I'm going to go tab out. I'm going to just move it up so it's sitting on a floor. I'm going to right click and go shades move. And I might just come here and apply the modifier for the subdivision surface modifier and give it another subdivision surface modifier. So now it's not too... Um, low poly if that makes sense okay so we have at least something here we can come in and edit a little bit more with a bit more control if we wanted to um, but that's something we'll get to later for now we have our rough body shape we're then going to go ahead and go shift a we're going to add in a circle with this circle here we're going to go r x 9 0 and we're going to press enter we're going to tab into edit mode and with it all active we're going to go e to extrude s to scale we're going to go in a little bit like so we're going to go shift A, we're going to add in a UV sphere, which we're going to go S to scale down so it sits in the inside, like so. R, X, 9, 0, and hit enter. And then in the right orthographic view, just go S, Y, and flatten on the Y a little bit. And then go shift D to duplicate and Y to move it forward a bit, and then S to scale that down. And that's just going to be the pupil of the eye. So we have these two components, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the inside loop of this circle. We're just going to go S to scale it in a little bit. And um, maybe let's go E to extrude and Y and extrude it in like this. And let's just grab this edge over here and go E to extrude and Y and move it back. And let's just grab this edge over here by going Shift Alt, clicking on it. And let's go Control B to bevel it like so. Tab back out. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. And let's go as well and give it a mirror. Let's click on the eyedropper and select the body. And now in our front view, if we go G and move it over to the side, we see this. So at this point, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to move these um, eyes. So we're just pressing G to move them. S to scale them, obviously, because they're way too big. Um, but this is kind of, you know, relative because you can make it however you want. But I'm going to go something like this. I'm going to right click and go shade smooth. Maybe just a tad smaller. Tab into edit mode. And at this point, let's enable proportional editing. Let's grab some verts here and let's just kind of drag them just to square the bottom of the eyes. I just think that makes it look a little bit more organic and not too round. Then we're going to go ahead, tab out, and we're now going to go Shift A. Let's add in a UV sphere. Tab into edit mode and let's turn off proportional editing. Let's select the bottom verts, delete them so we have half a sphere, which we're going to select. And we're going to go E to extrude and then S to or let's go Alt S, so Alt S after extruding and scale it in like so to make it kind of like a shell. Then go Shift D to, to duplicate S to scale it down a bit and then E to extrude again and then Alt S to scale in along the normals to make something like this. Now we have these two parts. Press A to select everything, Alt N and let's just go recalculate outside to fix any normal issues. And let's give this a subdivision surface modifier and tab back out. We're going to right click and go Shade Smooth. And then in our right orthographic view, let's move it forward and go S to scale. And I'm going to rotate it slightly and then Shift D to duplicate and then R to rotate it like so. So we have the mouth. And then we're going to grab the eyes and we're just going to go to our top orthographic view. Let's rotate them in a bit and move them in towards the body. Just that slight little adjustment there makes a big difference. And let's just move the mouth up a bit. So now we have the mouth 
and the eyes of our Furby. So you can move these up a little bit, I think. That should work. Um, mess around with it till you're kind of happy with it, but more or less, this is kind of the main body. Let's grab everything in object mode, move it up a little bit. Shift A, let's add in a cube. And with this cube active, we're gonna tab in to edit mode. We're gonna go S, Z and flatten it a little bit. Control R and then roll in a loop cut. We're gonna actually roll two times or once just to add in two. So we have two segments, double click. Now we have these three faces at the front. Let's go to our face select option. Select these two faces and then go E to extrude. Then grab the middle face and go E to extrude out a little bit further. And then you're just gonna select the back three faces and go S, X and flatten it a little bit on the X. Press A to select everything, right click and go subdivide. And under the subdivision tab, let's increase, increase that to seven. And with all of this active, let's just go to our smooth tool and drag the gizmo and smooth this all out. And then let's do it again. So just something like this, make it nice and smooth. Now we're gonna tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. Let's give this a mirror modifier. Click on the eyedropper and select the body of our Furby. Then let's go S to scale down and then G to move it over. And the feet are gonna be about this size. Let's go into our bottom orthographic view. This is rotate them a little bit just to give them some style and you can come in here at any point and you can select different faces and proportional editing you can give it a little bit more volume um, completely up to you but that's what i'm going to go with for now so let's now um, go shift a let's quickly add in a plane move it to the top corner rx90 and hit enter tab into edit mode and then scale this down and let's go r to rotate like so Move it out a bit. And let's go to our edge select and select this edge here and go E to extrude, S to scale, like so. And now let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. Press A to select everything and then go I to inset it a little bit and then go G, Y and move it back, like so. At this point, you can go Control R, add in some more cuts if you want and adjust the shape of the ear. I think this bit is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. Um, it's up to you to make it how you want, okay? Make it more pointy. But the idea here is to make something simple and then give it a solidify. Give it some thickness. And then as well to give it a subdivision surface modifier. And then you can tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. So now we have a simple ear. And you can very easily come here and change these parameters on the modifiers. But you get the idea. So let's give this a mirror modifier. Let's click on the eyedropper and select the body. And you can now adjust these ears. And you can really kind of give the character a lot of, well, character just by how you adjust or scale or shape your ears. So that's enough. Let's grab the Furby. Let's go to our particles. Let's go plus. Let's give it a hair. Click on advanced. And under the number here, let's make it 500. Under our render, let's enable B spline. And under our children, let's go interpolate it. Let's go up and just bring the hair length way down to something like this, just kind of eye it. For me, that's 0.2 meters at the moment. And let's go down to our um, roughness under the children. And let's increase the end point a little bit. And let's also go to the random here as well. Perfect. Let's go to the viewport display and let's increase the strand steps to three. Now this is all good, but Bit of a problem here. We don't want to kind of sticking through the eyes. So let's quickly go over to our white paint. And by the way, this is why it's good to have the topology baked in with that initial um, subdiv modifier. So let's just go to our object data properties. Let's give this a vertex group. And now let's just proceed to um, tab into edit mode quickly, select everything and assign it. And then let's go back in to white paint. And in fact, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to apply the subdivision surface modifier. So now in white paint, we have a lot more topology and we can come in here with our subtract and just paint away this vertex group. So only around the eyes, we don't want it to be distributed and kind of an inside here like this. Okay, we don't want these hair sticking through. And then we're gonna go back into object and let's go to our particles. Let's scroll all the way down to hair vertex groups and go to density and click on group. And now you can see it's not in the eyes. You might have to go back to white paint and just adjust that a little bit if things are sticking through. We just don't want any hairs sticking through like this, okay? So something like that looks cool. 
let's go back to um, object mode. And now we're gonna go, just quickly grab the eyes. I'm just gonna grab the pupil and just scale it up a little bit more. And I think that's good. So let's make sure to save. Let's go Shift A, add in a plane. S to scale up. And maybe on the X a little bit. Inside of edit mode, let's just drag this edge back. And let's go Shift A, add in another plane. And then go R, X, 9, 0 and hit enter. And then just move it back. Scale it up and now we have a nice backdrop. Then we're just going to delete our camera and our default light. And in the front view, I'm just gonna go add in a new camera in front of graphic. Move it back and let's position it higher. Something like this. Um, I might go to my camera settings, make the focal length 95 for shallower field of view. Something like this. Make sure to save as you go. And now we're gonna go to our render settings. Let's make that cycles GPU for a device if you have one. And let's go to our render samples. Let's set it to 50. You can go higher. I'm doing a tutorial, so I'm gonna to stick to 50 samples. Let's now go Shift A. Let's add in an area light, move it up. Let's go to our light settings. Let's give it a strength of 300 because this is kind of a bit of a larger scene. And let's increase the size. And let's go Z and go rendered. And now we can see our lighting. Let's just go Control B and drag over the camera to limit the render to the camera. And just grab the hair quickly, the, the Furby, and let's go to the particle system. And let's just under our hair shape, let's just come here to the root diameter and make it point three so the hair isn't as thick, okay? Now we can grab our light and we can proceed to duplicate this light as many times as we want until you like your lighting. I'm just gonna go free lights like this. And I might also just go to my world properties. Go to the color here, let's just give that a sky texture and set the strength to 0.5. If you want to as well, you could just add a HDRI or environment texture and do it that way. For now, this is just what I'm gonna go with. And now we can do our shading. So let's go over to our shading workspace. And let's go ahead and go into rendered view. Let's grab the ears and let's go new. Let's just create a plastic um, plastic material. So I'm just gonna call it plastic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and give it a color. I'm gonna go kind of like a purplish, darker purplish, purplish kind of color. And let's go shift a search and get a noise texture. Let's plug the color in to the roughness of our principle. Shift A search and let's get a color ramp node, place it over here. Let's come to the detail and make it 12 and the roughness, let's drag that all the way up. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see we have some roughness on this plastic and we can increase these values here until we have a bit more contrast on that roughness as well. Makes quite a difference. We can also just go Shift A search and get a bump node, plug that color into the height and plug the normal into the normal of the principled and bring the strength down to 0.2. And now we have even a little bit of bump to that plastic. Let's just maybe go to the color ramp here and just slide the darker value up till we get a bit more reflective of a reflection in the plastic. So now that we have a plastic shader here, let's just grab all of these nodes. Control C to copy. And let's just grab the Furby eyes, go new. And let's just call this plastic two. Let's just delete these nodes over here and then right click and go paste. And now we have this material here on the eye, plastic two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this kind of like a different kind of purple, like this, maybe a bit darker. And now let's go create another material and let's just call it white. Let's delete these nodes, let's right click and go paste. And now let's just make it kind of like an off white kind of color. And let's tab into edit mode and select the eye white and assign that white shader. And then let's just grab the black eye middle here, go plus assign, create a new material. Let's just call it pupil. And let's just make that black and bring down the roughness almost all the way. And now if we go into rendered view, you can see this is what we have. Um, let's just grab the mouth. Let's go new. Let's delete these nodes, right click, go paste. Let's change the color to yellow. And now if we render, we can see this is what we have. And let's just grab the bottom one, give it that same yellow material. And then let's create a new material and let's call that red. And I guess we might as well name the yellow material yellow. But let's just grab the red and delete these nodes. Let's go right click, go paste. Let's change this to a red color. 
tab into edit mode and then just select the inner bit and assign that red. And with the top one, let's give it that red as well. Tab into edit mode, just select the inner bit and give it that red material. So now if we go rendered, you can see this is what we have. But what we need to do is we need to now select our Furby and let's take the material here, the default material, this is called Furby. And let's go shift A, search and get a noise texture. Let's plug the color into the base color here. Let's go shift A, search and get a color ramp. Let's drag these two values up and let's give one of them a darkish kind of purple. And the one over here, let's make it kind of like a pink. Now if we go Z and go rendered, we can kind of see this is what we have. We can just increase the scale here and then mess around with these proportions until we are happy with what we have. So I'm gonna go with something like that. Maybe bring this in a bit, make it more saturated. You guys can mess around however you like. But now that we have that, I'm also gonna select the feet. I'm just gonna give that a material and I'm gonna go shift A search and get a velvet. And just plug the velvet into the surface here, delete the principled and let's make that kind of like a purplish color. And now if we go to the render, we can see this is what we have. And before we render, I'm just gonna grab the Furby and maybe take this pink and maybe just to take the distribution of that much lower, something like this. And I'm also just gonna to go to the hairs and I'm just gonna to go to the children and I'm gonna increase the render amount to 200. And I'm probably just gonna to go to the hair shape, make it 0.4 instead. And then under the children again, I'm just gonna go down and under the roughness, just increase the end point a little bit to make it more fluffy. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, maybe just grab one more light, just duplicate it, having it in from the front. And now let's go render and render. And here we have our Furby. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and add some more materials to the scene, do a bit of better lighting, and just tweak my shaders a little bit to customize my Furby. But for you guys, this is pretty much where this tutorial ends. Um, so when I'm done doing that, I'll quickly show you what it looks like. And here you can see I've done a little bit of tweaking with the materials and lighting, and I've just added in a wooden floor and a little bit of depth, but that's about it. And this is how you make a Furby in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Check out my Patreon in the description. Also, I have a link to Skillshare, which you might like as well. You can try it out for free and watch some of my content. And I'll see you guys next time for another video.